ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना एक्सप्लेन द फाइव सेरेमनीज और इवेंट्स इन ए एच आई द फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सेरेमनी इज स्प्रिंट प्लानिंग नो इन दिस सेरेमनी बेसिकली वी प्लान वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस स्प्रिंट वी एक्चुअली मेक स्प्रिंट गोल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेरेमनी हाउ डू वी मेक दैट वी टेक द प्रोडक्ट बैकलॉग विच इज लिस्ट ऑफ all prioritize requirement by high value and high risk and from that product backlog we make sprint backlog now sprint backlog is an important document that will tell what you are going to do in sprint okay what you are going to do in this particular sprint with this uh, we put all the list of user stories in this sprint a very important thing to understand when we are working with the sprint backlog we make estimated velocity especially in the first sprint we make the estimated velocity that how many story points we are going to cover let's say the story points will be 20 story points and since it is the first sprint so it is more of a estimation team will do this estimation it's an important thing that team will do the estimation how many story points we are going to do so there is always negotiation team may say we want to do 20 story points the product owner says no you have to do 25 story points so scrum master facilitate that negotiation and most of the time what team says we will go with that or maybe we may reach a midpoint so we reach okay this will be the estimated velocity we select the user stories from here the high value high priority user story put it into the sprint backlog once sprint backlog is made we show it to the client the sprint backlog and sprint goal if it gets approved which normally does so then the sprint actually start sprint itself is 1 to 4 week of duration okay normally it is 2 week normally it is 2 week but generally 1 to 4 week one we don't normally go with the one week because it is very small time uh, you cannot complete anything four weeks is a long time so generally it sector has two week of sprint so we have discussed so far what is sprint we have also discussed what is sprint planning what happens in sprint planning the next thing is daily stand up daily stand up or sometime called as daily scrum is a status sharing meeting it's a status sharing meeting 15 minutes meeting three questions are answered here what have you done yesterday what you are going to do today is there any road blocks or impediments that you want to handle okay what you have done yesterday what you are going to do today impediments any issues risk that you are going to face all the team members sit normally or stand daily stand up sorry so stand so let's say a b c d e f these are the team members scrum master is standing in between he ask him this person will share the status then this person then this 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 and we try to sum it up in 15 minute if there is any issue we don't discuss that issue in detail those team members maybe c and d has an issue c and d can discuss that issue in a follow up meeting after the stand up stand up is only for these three questions nothing more now normally especially if it is in co located which is one of the uh, tenants of agile that we want to have a co located team so we have a common area sometime called as war room in which basically information radiators are placed information radiators are placed like uh, burn up burn down chart burn burn up chart or burn down chart or task board showing the status to do in progress completed or even kanban board which has work in progress limit i'll make another video in which i explain these uh, information radiators all four five of them in detail but for now so in daily stand up which is a status sharing meeting we basically discuss the status and we see okay what are the things in the project that we want to discuss here 
ओके तो स्टेटस शेयरिंग मीटिंग इज बेसिकली डेली स्टैंड अप अच्छा जी सो नाउ डेली स्टैंड अप इज डन द नेक्स्ट वन इज स्प्रिंट रिव्यू स्प्रिंट रिव्यू इज बेसिकली वंस द स्प्रिंट इज कंप्लीटेड वी एग्रीड द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द स्प्रिंट विल बी टू वीक्स सो वंस द स्प्रिंट इज कंप्लीटेड द स्प्रिंट इज एंड नाउ वी वर्क इन टू दैट the all the user stories user stories are requirements in agile whatever the user stories have been completed and how does team know that the user story is completed your definition of done tells you that this user story is completed so any user story that is 100% completed according to definition of done the team comes let's say this is team member he will show that user story to the client a client will check that user story client can be customer it can be product owner himself he will check the user story according to his acceptance criteria okay now we are only showing those user story which are 100% complete according to definition of done so client will check according to acceptance criteria which is nothing but again a checklist that the client uses to make sure that the things are done properly most of the time definition of done and acceptance criteria can be the same thing we just name it different as a internal and an external you can consider this is more of a control quality tool or this is more of a uh, validate scope thing something like that so the client basically checks that and if the client accepts there are two options of course when the user story is shown to the client either client accept it that user story goes into product increment okay that user story goes into product increment which basically goes later into the release part so this user story is accepted user story or it is rejected this is the second case we can have in this second case when the user story is rejected it goes back to the product backlog it goes back to the product backlog okay now here one thing more happens in the uh, sprint review new user stories can also be added that also goes into the product backlog okay now what are the things that are happening in the sprint review if i summarize it in sprint review we show the completed user stories to the client if they accept it goes into product increment if they reject they goes into product backlog new user stories can be added into product backlog this is ideal time to add in product backlog sprint backlog is over since it's a new sprint so the previous sprint backlog is over there is no like every sprint will have a new sprint backlog and then we do the grooming of product backlog which means we will reprioritize the product backlog we mean product owner the job this is this job belong to the product owner since the customer is here they have given the more user stories some are rejected and some are incomplete the time is there to basically reprioritize the product backlog you see we are only showing the user stories which are 100% complete to the client so all the incomplete user stories uh, they also goes back to product backlog and the product backlog get reprioritized now the last ceremony or the event in agile is sprint retrospective sprint retrospective itself is a basically lesson learned meeting the purpose of this meeting is to get the lesson learned okay to get the lesson lesson learned meeting you can say it it is a five stage set the stage gather data generate insights decide what to do and close the retrospective so what happen in each stage let's look at that set the stage in set the stage we set the tone what we are going to do in this particular sprint we we welcome them 
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग इन टू दिस स्प्रिंट एंड दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड फॉर यू वी वे कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट दैम फॉर कम्प्लीटिंग द स्प्रिंट इट इज़ बेसिकली मोर ऑफ अ टॉन इज बींग सेट हेयर एंड सेटिंग द स्टेज वी वी आर बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू ब्रेक द आइस सो दैट एवरी पर्सन कैन टॉक वट हैज एपन इन द स्प्रिंट एंड दैन द गैदर डाटा हेयर इन गैदर डाटा बेसिकली वी गैदर द एंटायर डाटा ऑफ द स्प्रिंट one of the tool that we can use is a timeline exercise that's not basically in pmp it's more of a acp thing but still uh, we get a timeline exercise what happened in day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 and day 10 till this is called basically timeline exercise we look at each things and we basically work into that that is gathering data of entire thing now we will generate insights on this which actually mean doing the root cause analysis okay how do we feel about something are we mad sad glad how do we feel about day 1 and the things that happen on day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 and in let's say in day 3 we have a problem we may do root cause analysis of that using fishbone diagram or five why why this happen why 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 so generate insight is an important step in generate insight we basically do root cause analysis and that is one of the most important thing why we actually doing the sprint retrospective generate insight can be the most important step then decide what to do as the name says here we prioritize there can be 10 or 50 improvements for the next sprint but we cannot do all the sprint all the improvements so we choose one or two and decide okay these improvements we are going to do in the next sprint and then we finally thank everyone for attending the workshop so this was the entire scrum for you let me summarize one more time and i will also add one more thing the entire sprint is basically 1 to 4 weeks normally it is 2 weeks in sprint planning we we make basically sprint backlog and sprint goal product owner scrum master and a team attend it then we have daily stand up daily stand up is 15 minute same time same location three question what you have done yesterday what you are going to do today is there any road block or impediment in those thing and it is done in the same location information radiators are used there normally it is for team and scrum master is a, acting as a facilitator to make sure they are completed in 15 minute product owner may come in that meeting but he has to take permission sprint review here everyone comes the customer comes we show them the user stories that are completed and if their things are accepted it goes into product increment if they are rejected goes into product backlog new user stories can also added here sprint review and happens at the end of the two weeks or if their length is more or less depending upon that at this happens at end of sprint retrospective retrospective is a five stage it's a lesson learned meeting five steps set the stage gather data generate insight decide what to do close the retrospective purpose is to get the lesson learned and put it into the next sprint it happens at the end of after each sprint we should do that every sprint now again here team and scrum master is there product owner may come but he needs approval uh, why he wanted to come things like that so this is the entire scrum for you i hope that makes sense to you if you have any question feel free to put in the comment and if you want me to make video like this do let me know i will more than happy to make this thing i have a question for you guys so which type of video you like more this video in which i am writing on the white in, in this uh, ipad or the one on which i make uh, videos on uh, uh, whiteboard or the if i make this on zoom uh, live videos i would love to know the feedback from you thank you very much 